road is gone. Oh, shit. We're so close. Heading up to do some fishing this morning. Pretty excited. But, uh, boy, I tell you, these forest roads, we are not having good luck so far this year. We uh, are 0.2 miles from the lake, walking up the road, and here's the road. <laughs> Completely blocked off. Looks like there was a bit of a rock slide, so we need some repairs up here. Who knows if the, they'll ever get around to that. But uh, anyway, good morning for a hike. Yeah, I see uh, why they haven't cleaned this up yet. This was a pretty big Pretty big rock slide. Dang. Road's completely like a covered. Huge tree. Yeah, huge tree we're walking over right now. So, man. Ooh, that looks sketchy. <laughs> yeah, watch your step. That's pretty. Somebody's camping That's over somebody there. Right here. Okay. I actually see fish down there. Nice. Hey, sorry, just passing through. Beautiful spot. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going fishing. <laughs> it's been a it's been a long time for myself and M hasn't been since she was a kid. Yeah. And we just got the itch to catch some fish. <laughs> yeah, we went to Cabela's yesterday and got our licenses and picked up some gear for catching trout. We don't know if it's gonna work. I definitely don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> this is trout, so that's <laughs> So that'll a good probably sign. work, right? <laughs> it's gonna be we, great. We're gonna catch some. Yeah, fish. we got a mix of just some random stuff. Um, but regardless whether or not we catch fish, it's gonna be really fun. So it's a beautiful day. We are up here. What's the name of the lake? Cole Lake in uh, what northern central Cascades. Yeah. It's like what 3,000 feet, something like that. 3,400 feet. Yeah. Beautiful day. The water's yeah. crystal clear. I might have to jump in at some point. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah. So we'll see uh, who catches the first fish if we get that lucky. We don't know. Beautiful morning. Slight breeze, clear water. You can see the fish. They can probably see me. I probably scared them all away already, but uh, who cares? That's why they call it fishing, not catching, right? <laughs> all right. Let's see how the Hollies are doing today. I would say that's a good selection, right? I mean, I totally know what I'm doing. I'm trying to do something more than putting a worm on a hook. <laughs> it's sitting here. I think that's how I grew up fishing with my Uncle Bob. I swear, he just made me stab a worm on a hook and cast it. Smallest knot in the world. And then are you going to put the fish bait, the stuff on it? I guess Maybe? I could. Yeah. I'm going to try a couple casts without. Okay, well then I will use it so we can see. Oh yeah, I don't want to litter. Oh my gosh, we have a pole set up. <laughs> Make sure it's spinning. <laughs> oh yeah. Next. Okay, mine. I want, we're going to do bait. And then let's go with the hot pink. So we're only using a four pound line and I don't know. I, I Cause saw we know what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> I figure we're catching small fish. Sounds like most people use more six pound for trout, but uh, I had 20 pound on my pole. So I figured that was a little overkill. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see. And then what do I just 
stick one of these guys like on the hook. Yeah, if you if, right? if you're if you're into that sort of thing. Oh, I'm into it. You're gonna want to take your fingers and grab the line to the pole. And then you can release your whatever that thing's called. This? Insert text here on video. Okay. Yeah. And then I just let go of this. And then you just let go when you when oh. you cast. Okay, so you go first. Winks. And we're in. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna try the same thing. So you just go straight up overhead. Hey, not bad. I'm fishing, I <laughs> fish. <laughs> so now do you just kind of just slowly reel it in or like, yeah. what do you do? I'll look on the yeah. Okay. Wait, do I have to close this thing now? Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, you flip it down, then you can reel. Oh. Well, they're attracted to mine. Yours is like a, like a damn nightclub in the <laughs> <laughs> All right, so hold the thing. And if you just start reeling, it should flip down. Oh, okay. When you, after you cast. Okay. So yeah, grab your line, flip it up. Flip it up. Okay. That's better. Whatever. Just a yeah, just don't let it sink too much. Mm. You're, looks like you're on the bottom. Oh, your thing didn't flip down. Hey, I caught something. <laughs> First catch of the day. First catch, guys. I win. <laughs> what? No, you I'm afraid I'm going to launch the pole. <laughs> you won't do that. Maybe they don't like my disco party. I think we should put some of your little caterpillar scooshy things on it. Okay. What are those called? I don't know, but I'm 0 for 63. <laughs> oh, wait, I gotta oh god. I gotta, oh, sorry, I know. <laughs> god, you make me nervous. I'm, I'm gonna so fall nervous. back. <laughs> Cause I don't know what I'm doing, are you serious? Glad you got that on camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, look at that water down there. It is gorgeous. It's gotta be like 70 dose out here. It's perfect. How are you gonna be able to handle catching a fish then? Well, I'm not touching it. Oh, that's me. Yeah. You got any funny fishing stories? Well, yeah, since I'm not catching anything. <laughs> I swear, might as well share a story of better times. So my buddy Eric and I had just a killer day on this little lake. Had a full stringer. Really excited to get home, get them cleaned up and get them cooked. Well, we get home, walk around the boat, and there's a stringer with no fish on it. <laughs> Hanging from the boat. Because what, you forgot to put it in the boat? <laughs> Oh boy, that was a moment for the ages. We lost it. Pardon. <laughs> Are you filming me? No. Okay. 